Hello friends, my name is Amit Chakravarti. I am the inventor of the world's first portable UPVC window manufacturing machines and the director of Sicon group of companies. Today we are going to discuss regarding the problems that we face while installation of a UPVC window in a particular site. Now the biggest problem that we face while we install a UPVC window in a particular site is the gaps that occur between the wall and the window while installation. Now the gaps that occur can be due to mistake in plastering, can be due to mistakes in brickwork, but the problem is the customer always expects the window installer to fill in all the gaps between the window and the sill of the window. Now this you have to do because you have taken the order and you have nowhere to go. So what you usually do is you go to the market and apply a cheap silicone around the whole window and fill in the gaps. Now the problems that occur after that is that after three or four months either there occurs a gap between the silicone and the wall or the silicone and the window or the silicone turns yellow and the customer again calls you to come and repair the same window. You again either come and do the repairing or you stop picking up the phone of the customer. In either ways, the whole thing is not very good. So today we will go to the root of the cause, that what causes this problem and how we can solve this issue. Now let me start with the basics. When you are having this kind of a problem, what generally people do is, they go to the market and they buy a GP silicone. Now this GP silicone, this comes in two varieties, it's acetic or neutral cure. Now in an acidic cure GP silicon, what happens is when it comes in contact with sunlight, the UV rays of the sunlight makes it yellow over time. Now this yellowing of the silicon is because of the acidic nature of the curing agent. And this you can't help. Again the customer calls you to repair that. There is also a very high content of moisture inside a GP silicon. And this high content of moisture when it evaporates, it leaves a gap again in between the window and the silicon or the silicon and the wall. Now the second option that you go for is an acrylic silicon. Now an acrylic silicon is the cheapest option that is available in the market. But the problem is in acrylic silicon, there is a high content of moisture in it. And when the moisture evaporates, Again, the whole silicon tends to shrink and leaves a gap in between the silicon and the wall or the silicon and the window. Now, the most expensive option that you can opt for is a weather silicon. Now, a white colored weather silicon is actually what should be used to fill in gaps of a UPVC window. In fact, any window. Now, what is the benefit? This has got low moisture content and when you're buying a weather silicon always opt for a neutral cure silicon if it is a neutral cure silicon it will also not turn into yellow over time now think of one thing if you go to the market gp silicons are available somewhere around 80 to 90 rupees acrylic silicon is available somewhere around 60 to 70 rupees uh, i'm sorry 70 to 80 rupees and Weather silicon is available somewhere around 110 rupees, 105 to 110 rupees. Now your savings in a particular window, suppose even if I take into calculation that you require one silicon in one window, then in that case, if you require one silicon, one full silicon in one window, then the difference of money is coming only 40 rupees. Even if I consider the cheapest option that is the acrylic silicon, it is somewhere around 70 rupees and the GP silicon is somewhere around 110 rupees. So you save only 40 rupees per window. So do you think that saving 40 rupees per window is worth losing a customer? Because either you again have to come to that place and provide service to that person or you stop taking his calls, which is also very dangerous. You can lose a customer and that customer will go into 10 places and they will say that this company doesn't provide service and doesn't use quality products. So you'll have a bad name. Okay, now let me come into another problem. 
Many people tell me that if they are using the weather silicon, even after that, they face a problem where the silicon tends to shrink and there is a gap on top of the window or in the sides of the window. This problem occurs because they overuse the silicon. If there is a gap of 5 mm between the window and the uh, brickwork, uh, between the window and the wall of the window, then it is fine to use a silicon or weather silicon. But if you are using a silicon, be it any silicon, be it weather silicon or any silicon, above 5 mm of gap means the gap between the window and the wall is more than 5 mm, then it's not going to work because silicon is meant for uh, filling gaps up to 5 mm, maximum 8 mm. In that case, you have to use a PU foam. A PU foam comes in this kind of a can. Now, this PU foam. You need to spray over it this expands and fills the spaces and after that you can cut it with a pen knife that you can get in a stationery shop and you can make the finishing accordingly this I'll show you after opening a bit cap this comes with a pipe like this a straw like pipe and you need to put it over here you need to twist it and it gets locked and after that you need to use it by tilting the whole bottle. Do remember to rinse it before you use it. Uh, you rinse it and you tilt it. You press this and the spray comes out. Now never use it in the upright position. Why? Because the air inside the PU foam that comes to come out after that the PU foam tends to come out which will mess the whole window. So always use it in a tilt position and when you're using a PU foam generally these are these can be painted you can put plaster of paris on top of pu foam but it's not recommended to put silicon on top of pu foam that again you're filling trying to fill up a gap which is more than five to eight millimeters using silicon so never use silicon on top of pu foam cut the pu foam either you can paint it or what you can use you can use some uh, plaster of paris and after that you can paint it or leave it like that so that's it I hope you enjoyed the video and everyone has got something to learn about it. I hope you have enjoyed the video. I'll come up with another video. Till then, see you. Take care. Jai Hind.